Hello and welcome to Side Hustle, the show that highlights student entrepreneurs striving to strike a balance between their business and their schoolwork. Charlotte Isanda is a sixth year student artist at the Kenyatta University. She explains to us why she has been a fine art student for six years. When we come to my art, I'll try explaining uh, an inspiring story which I'm supposed to be done with school. Mm -hmm. Art takes four years, mm -hmm. but because of being a youth, Apa Napale. Nili potea kidogo, then right now I'm back on track, doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Charlotte tells us she has loved art since she was young, and that is why she chose to do art. I have loved art since I was young. I, uh, I can't think of anything else, if not an artist. Like, I'm one of those people who was made for art, yeah. I started drawing in class 7, class 8. My entire high school I was drawing, I was painting, I was writing letters for people. Ile nye mkenda funky want to write a letter. I was the one doing that, calligraphing on the envelopes. Artwork does pay, she tells us, but it depends with one's market. I am flexible for every market. It just depends with the honesty of the client because, as I said, some are some to nasumbwana now sana. But it depends. A student, see, they are earning so much and not so little because it's art. To tell you, wanna pay, yeah. At Wezi, Kosana Bay. So I have clients from Karen, I have clients from KU, I have clients from Ruiri. It just depends with who you are and how you want your art to be done. It also depends with your market because um, around KU I do not have a lot of customers. My customers come from beyond KU not students and yeah they are normally not students because art art is tricky um there was a time i used to do art i i just start doing it someone tells me they want a piece i do it before even talking about the price and everything because i was excited about art but i came to realize this is my career this is what i will be doing for the rest of my life so um it's paying in that you have to Talk to your client, establish, I need deposit before I begin your work because clients can become, can become shady when the work is done. She is inspired by the fact that artwork comes from the core of her being. The last piece I did, I was inspired by money, which seems like it's a painting, they pay you. You do, you do the art, but what inspires me is that it comes from the soul, from the core of my, from the core of my being. I'm an artist and I just love art. That is the first thing that inspires me. I make church designs, the backdrops, I design them, I do animation, I do printmaking, I, I, I paint although I'm not currently doing painting as a course, but I paint. When it comes to challenges she encountered, she established that there needs to be some deposit before starting a client's work. Before. 
I used to do artworks, you've bought the materials, you have the ink, you are spending your time there, then a client, at a semahana pesa, they'll just go all on you. Yeah, that was the ma major challenge, the major challenge. She believes that when one has the desire to learn something, they definitely can do anything they want to. Yes, I believe in that because uh, at a si art peke, if you have the desire to learn something, baby steps, step one, step two, step three, you will get there. Uta mm -hmm. learn. Okay, so um, I see a photo of this must be ice cube right here. Yes. So like, was this um, a photo that you were looking from another photo? Like you have a photo and then you're drawing from somewhere else, or is it? The picture of ice cube that you have in your mind when you're like drawing it like how did you get to come up with this one exactly uh this was a class mm -hmm. it's called human figure and uh, we were drawing different faces mm -hmm. i love this face okay. not like love love but i've watched a lot of his movies mm -hmm. so it was a picture i got from the internet i drew it and presented it for marking okay yeah. so like um do you like come up with such a picture pencil is it you just like take a pencil and you drew this for a portrait, you have to be looking at a photo to draw a portrait. Okay. Any other picture, you can get it from your memory. memory. Mm -hmm. But a portrait, I don't know if there are people who draw it from memory, but okay. a portrait, yeah. you really have to look somewhere before drawing it. Okay, so like, um, probably, okay, we are friends. Mm -hmm. So for instance, if I say that, you know what, I want you to draw a photo of me. <laughs> Would you like have this photo like of me in your head, then you just like, start drawing or I also have to give you a photo of me for you to draw me. I have your photo in head but putting it down on paper yeah. a bit hard. You need it's a it's a portrait remember yeah. and you, you you want it maybe to hang it in your house okay. and for it to be that perfect I need to be reference points. Yeah. Yeah. So I need to have a photo, a hard copy of a photo mm -hmm. to draw it. Okay. Yeah. So um these are the examples that you are telling us about aluminium. This the ones that you're using are printing. Mm -hmm. So like um, when it comes to such images, mm -hmm. do you like have them in mind? I'm a peer hazy, you are like referring to somewhere. These ones, it is printmaking and for you to make a print, the lecturer requires you to, re requires you to have mm -hmm. a source of inspiration. Okay. Yeah, so this source of inspiration for me was the Maasai women. They are not exactly this way, but this is what I was getting from the internet. When you just see a Maasai on the streets, yeah. you draw a rough sketch because as you can see, they're not complete figures. They're just like sketches because that is printmaking. Okay, yeah. You just come up with figures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Okay. Mm. Sawa, sawa. So like um, the, the, the printing and all, are these also something that you sell? Am I, these ones are just for class assignments and all. Uh, I really love printmaking. Mm -hmm. uh, I can sell them, but I have not found the right people who know the value okay. of prints. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I have a mentor. I do have a mentor. He is called The Art Kiosk in Instagram, in Facebook. Mm -hmm. And he does sell his prints. He does do, sorry, <coughs> amazing prints. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I would really love to venture into printmaking because it's a, it's a, it's a market where you can do a lot. Mm -hmm. People do prints, but they prints for t-shirts. Okay. I love these prints for yeah. paper, mm -hmm. where you can hang them in your house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, um, for instance, like uh, someone once you, you told us that you love interior design. Mm -hmm. If I want you to come and just do a design in my house, it's pretty plain. Um, I have no idea, and I tell you, you know what? Just do something about the plain paper. Mm -hmm. Like, what exactly would you do, and how much? averagely would, would it like cost for you to come up with you know a house that was plain to a now a house that is designed first of all people confuse interior design mm -hmm. and interior decoration okay. interior design is the you design it from it, we, we combine with architecture mm -hmm. you combine from scratch the plan mm -hmm. the way the kitchen is adjacent to the bedroom to the sitting room all of that whereby interior decoration mm -hmm. is i come tell you these curtains take them down we need these curtains this carpet mm -hmm. yeah so specify which one do you want both like, <laughs> tell us, like if, if we want to work with both of them like mm -hmm. someone just wants a whole change okay. about how the entire house looks like mm -hmm. like just from the scratch 
what are we going to need and how are we going to do it like from the word go? First of all, I'll come to assess the site. Yeah. The site is where your house is. Okay. Yeah, to know if you want it from scratch. Um, depends if it's a house being built. Yeah, that we can work with. If it's a house that is already built and you just want to change a few things mm -hmm. in the interior, we can also work with that. Mm -hmm. So that will depend on the person. Okay. Yeah. So like, um, let's work with a house that's already in existence. Mm -hmm. Like someone has a house, you just moved to a new house with a pretty plain wall, and you like, you just like, um, the wall is pretty plain, mm -hmm. but you want to come up with something that will make the house look interesting. Okay. Like, how? much would it cost averagely and what exactly would would you do to the house some of the things that you can do to a house that has a plain wall would you um, prefer the drawings or would you paint what exactly would you do um that also depends with the person mm -hmm. how far your budget can stretch okay. uh, i can do the walls there is painting there is wallpapers there's the finishings mm -hmm. Plus, there's also the paintings, mm -hmm. so I'll have to know what you really want in your house mm -hmm. to be able to come up with this. Okay. And how? how and are it your... is costly. Yeah, exactly. That's it is I'm... very costly <laughs> uh -huh. for an entire house because there is the living room. The living room design is different from the corridors, mm -hmm. from the back porch, from the bedrooms. Everything is totally different. Mm -hmm. And if you want that design touch, you'll have to dig into your pockets. Okay. Yeah. So like um have you ev have you been able have you been able to get to like pay your school fees or run your errands here and there because of the artwork that you do and the printing and the designs that you're doing? Running my errands, yes. Paying my school fees, um I'd like to believe when you pay your school fees your parents wana kweka mali ya uko. But I can be able to raise my school fees. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. So, um, probably there's someone who has always admired to do art. Like, honestly, I do. I love art. Mm -hmm. But um, someone who wants to do art, and they don't know where to start. Like, for instance, you've told us about the stories of some of your pictures, how um, you had to change, you discovered the point that you got, and you're telling your story through artwork. Mm -hmm. And probably there's also someone who also has a talent, but they don't know where to start. A Jui and a Shule, a Jui and probably they can't even raise school fees, but they want to do artwork. Mm -hmm. What is that advice that you can give to them? Uh, art. Art, you do not have to have school fees at the moment. Mm -hmm. Art is believing in yourself. Uh, before I got saved, and I'm not, if you're not saved, I'm not pushing you to get saved, but. Uh, before I got saved, I had nearly quite suppressed kabisa the art in me. I was doing other things. I was venturing into other kinds of business, and when I decided to to lear on art, mm -hmm. that's when I saw a change. I, I wasn't struggling to get money. Mm -hmm. Money ilikuwa tu inakuja. Like you can do one project which will sustain you for an entire month. Mm -hmm. Before you get another project, which will be maybe one month later, this one project you may could sustain. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do art, first it should come from the inside. Yeah, as in, if any from, and believe in yourself. Everyone tells you believe in yourself, but actually do believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She explains to us why she decided to be doing the decos for the church. I wanted to serve. That was the major goal. I just wanted to serve God and I knew this gift he has given me, which better way than to use it in his house. So I began it serving and as I grew, they, they got to compensate me in some way. What inspires her to make the different designs in church is the theme of the month. I think about it and I'm like, this is the theme for this month. This design will look amazing on this stage. Yeah, and considering we are a church of young people, I, I do not like it when um, it's fun out there, it's fun in the clubs, then in the church you come and there's a boring backdrop there, everything about it is boring. So I decided I'm going to use my art, my art to entice the young people to come to church.
When it comes to balancing her schoolwork and the artwork, actually it's hard. It's really hard. Sana sana when you have due assignments and because it's art you can't do something overnight and it's done. You have to put your time into it. So I just have to balance like in church I can't do it if it's not a Friday or a Saturday. So during the week I'm maximizing my time so that when it comes to Friday nothing is standing between me and going to church to do that work. Mm -hmm. If it's a client I work with my schedule whatever I have wh whatever I am doing mm -hmm. and whatever the time frame they want their piece done. Mm -hmm. So we get to talk and we get to squeeze in some time for the piece to be done. Okay. She takes us through the story behind the paintings she has. Um, so this particular piece was when I was getting saved and it was called Breaking Free. Um, that is the title, Breaking Free. And as you can see, there's a girl caged behind the face of another one, the same person. So at this point, I was in bondage when you do not know it, but you are. So that was the story behind this one. And um, this was the first piece. It's a series of eight pieces. So this was the first piece. And this is the second piece. Mm, it was called Heartbreak. Because when you're in bondage and you're starting to realize you're in bondage, you start reminiscing what went wrong, where. Yeah, so this is how it all began. Uh, this picture, it shows uh, someone kissing someone <laughs> in there and this is me crying it, the, the the lady crying symbolizes me so this is when i felt ha a heartbreak yeah because we are human you come to campus naive then bam a heartbreak yeah so um so this is the third piece Getting heartbroken, you resort to different ways to cope with that. I resorted to weed. Yeah, I was rolling, I was smoking, I was smoking anything that can be smoked. Yeah, so um, this, this is called wasting away. Yeah, and uh, as you can see, there is a guy. So um, this was a face in my life where, hey, I cannot even explain it. I, <laughs> yeah, I think the best way was to put it down on paper and draw it because at times you lack the words. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is the third. Mm -hmm. This is the fourth. You're trying everything, you're trying smoking your life away, but nothing is working. This is called surrealism. And this, this piece was called emptiness. That is a heart floating away, I was cold. Meaning uh, as much as I was wasting away, I was smoking, nothing was still filling me up as a person. Yeah. And this is the other, where this is the fifth piece, yeah. or the fourth piece. Fifth piece. This is the fifth piece, mm -hmm. where um, that is me seated in a club somewhere in Nairobi, because this is the skyline of Nairobi. Yeah. Yeah, um, smoking, drinking, just trying anything to forget. Yeah. Just trying anything to get on mm -hmm. with life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so this is the sixth piece. And when you realize nothing is working, mm -hmm. you break down and cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so this is me depressed, mm -hmm. very depressed, giving up on love, giving up on life, giving up on everything. Yeah, this is me at rock bottom. Yeah. So this is my favorite piece. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look favorite, but it is my favorite. Um, this is when it's called when love broke through. Mm -hmm. This shows a hand with na a nail mm -hmm. in the middle, and that represents the hand that belongs to Jesus. And we see the girl, the girl who is me, mm -hmm. with this. This bars broken. Mm -hmm. We saw in the first piece there was a girl behind bars. Mm -hmm. So in this face, the bars are getting broken. Mm -hmm. When love broke through, when Christ came through mm -hmm. for me, yeah, because all of that led to an addiction. Mm -hmm. 
yeah and so basically christ broke through yeah and this was a story i was presenting in class and the lecturer wanted to know where are you now where are you right this moment because i was as i was presenting it a lot of people thought i was depressed thought i was i'm still down there but it was a reflection of what I have been through, where I have come from. Mm -hmm. And so they asked me, where are you now? This is where I am now, in the arms, in the arms of the Savior. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that sums it. Mm -hmm. That was my journey to getting saved. Mm -hmm. We asked her what it takes to come up with a portrait and she told us she takes only one night depending with the size. Paintings on the other hand can take up to a week. Uh, the design, the string art, with enough manpower, it can take a day but since we are less, it takes two days because the nails have to be everywhere, in every corner, they have to be hit and the stringing, it takes some time. For the, for the church, it's a day or two. Paintings can take me up to a week, mm -hmm. yeah, because it's painting, it has to become precise. I, lo I love perfection, mm -hmm. too. As an artist, you can't be perfect at everything, but there's that, there's that level of perfection you want to reach. Mm -hmm. So paintings, it takes me a week. Okay, so like, when it comes to um, a painting like, like this one, how long does it take you for you to come? Is this like a sketch you are doing and how long does it take for you to come up with something like this? Uh, this exact one? Yes. Okay, so um, a night. Mm -hmm. Yes, and by a night I mean from around 8 mm -hmm. to around 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 8 to 4 a.m.? Yeah. On her social media platforms, at the moment I am... I want to start, but I have not yet begun. That is posting them on social media. I have begun doing my art. And um, as per the market, the market is there. Um, the market is there. It comes, it goes, but the market is there. So I have not tried social media. And I need to overcome this fear of the jokers, the critiques. Yeah, that is the reason I'm not yet on social media, but that is something I am going to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you want to find me, you can find me in my main page. You can DM me. Mm -hmm. Charlotte Isanda, 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 that is Instagram and Twitter, Isanda, Isanda. Mm -hmm. Not Isanda, Isanda, it's just Isanda. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Isanda, one Isanda. Okay. And is it to the Chinese Netwanga? Underscore Mbili. Isanda underscore Mbili. Yeah. So that is Instagram and uh, Facebook. Facebook I go by Charlotte Bronte Isanda, my official names. Mm -hmm. And um, as I've said, Twitter Isanda underscore Billy. Instagram Isanda underscore Billy. Yes. Now that is all that I had for you today, but if you missed the show, you can catch it on our YouTube channel at Fanaka Digital. You can also interact with us on all our social media platforms at Fanaka Digital. I am your host, Masiwe Rire.